I know some of you are here after the NF music video dropped, and I'd like to thank you and welcome you. Welcome to my world. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this story and I wouldn't expect you to, but I need someone to explain what was going on in my head because I got off of work and this is crazy, but I went to Target in my Volkswagen Beetle. And I don't know in what world a 70 inch television would fit in a Volkswagen Beetle, but I convinced the guy at Target to help me purchase it and go out to my car. It wasn't even close. I don't know what's going on. Like, I feel like this is one of those moments in the movies where the person is like having a nervous breakdown and isn't thinking logically at all. Like why in the world did I think I could fit a 70 inch television in my 2019 Volkswagen Beetle? It's not even possible. Like, what am I thinking? Like, I have been out of my mind today. I don't know what's going on. It's the day after that music video drop that I was in and I don't know if it's related to that. I haven't been able to sleep, but I feel like I feel like I'm going a little Shia LaBeouf right now. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> like, um, I know it sounds like totally made up, but this is completely true. They said I should call an Uber XL, but I, my phone was dead too. Like what in the world was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. So I hope your day is going well. Yo, I'm in the drive through at Dunkin' Donuts to get my coffee and they're filming some type of commercial. I don't know where ad or something. I don't know. It's great. <laughs> Elena, the new Hollywood. So I just got back from Dunkin' Donuts and I got an iced Americano with light ice. It's my go-to. See, I don't go to Starbucks anymore because, well, I worked there for a while and after you work somewhere for a while, I feel like you don't want to go back. I feel like a lot of people can relate with that. I am kind of gross because I just ran too earlier. Yeah, like once you work somewhere, you don't really want to go back there. And plus, I drink an Americano, which is the easiest drink to make. You can't mess up an Americano. It's just espresso shots and water. So if a coffee shop can't make an Americano, they can't make coffee. Therefore, they shouldn't be open. That's just my opinion. Please excuse Excuse my messy apartment. I have not had the motivation to clean lately. I don't know what's going on, but I just feel like cleaning is such a waste of time. Am I the only one that thinks that? The time I spend cleaning and energy, I feel like I could spend doing something else more productive, but eventually my apartment gets so messy that I can't be productive anymore. So that's when I see it be a problem and be a valuable use of time to clean. I just feel like it's usually a waste of time. I've been kind of missing my friends back home, so I thought I'd put some footage in from a trip we took to Detroit. I never posted this footage, so this is an exclusive Brian Anders vlogs segment. <laughs> Wait, okay, Wait, it's backwards. What's up, what's up? Brian Anders YouTube channel exploring the Detroit city. <laughs> Brian, look over the edge. There we go. I don't like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I know people say oh, running has changed my life and everyone should run and I'm here to say yeah they're kind of right like running has helped reduce stress for me it's helped me lose weight it's helped me with so many different things it gives me peace of mind for the rest of the day I love running and I think more people would benefit from doing it it reduces stress it makes you feel good it gets the oxytocin oxytocin pumping through your veins then you get some coffee and get the caffeine pumping and you just feel amazing like this is like one of my favorite feelings is post run got my coffee and I feel good I'm working on my New York accent I'm from New York, we'll be drinking coffee and going runs. Ever since I can remember, I wanted to be a gangster. I want to play a gangster in a movie, or like a Netflix original about gangsters. Ever since I can remember, I always want to drink coffee and go on runs. <laughs> I know some of you are here after the NF music video dropped, and I'd like to thank you and welcome you. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I ended up buying a 50 inch television from a different Target because I was embarrassed and I didn't want to go back to that Target. They literally opened up the register again so I could return the 70 inch television after they closed the store. That's ridiculous. I am a pain in the butt. I went to a different Target because I was so embarrassed that I didn't want to see anybody. I will probably never go back to that Target or at least for a while. The masks are nice because if you do something dumb in public, people won't remember what you look like. They'll remember what mask you're wearing or whatever, but they might remember my orange car. Yeah. Oh well. 
I'm still working on my song that I posted in the last video, so stay tuned on that. I'm still working on it. I want it to be truthful and I want it to be real and I, I'm taking my time with it. But if you want to see what I did in the last video and you didn't watch it already, you can go back to my last video, which was a day in the life of an Atlanta actor. I miss my pet turtle, Spike. He's back in Michigan and I'm wondering if at some point I should bring him down here. And I think I might. I just need to talk to my parents about that. I love Spike. I love turtles, but I don't like cleaning as you saw earlier. And cleaning turtle tanks is not fun, is not fun. You do not want to see what's in a turtle tank filter. You do not, it is disgusting. Let's just say you might have to buy a new bathtub after you dump all the feces in it <laughs> from cleaning the turtle tank, oh my goodness. I just went to Target and got a vacuum, a bookshelf, and a bunch of cleaning supplies so I can not be living in a total disaster of an apartment and I can watch a movie tonight in peace. So yeah, I'm at Target right now. As you can see by the big Target sign over there. And it's a good day, it's really sunny here. It's over 70 degrees. It feels like Michigan summer, to be honest. So I'm scared of the summers in Atlanta because I'm not used to the heat and I'm sure that I'm gonna be sweating a lot and I'm gonna have as many fans as I can afford to have. Yeah, it's a good day. What in the world? I don't know, I thought somebody was... What? Somebody, do you hear that? Somebody's saying something. It's a good day. It's very sunny, it's my day off too. I don't work today. It's a good day. I'm... It's one of those days, like, I was questioning, like, everything last night after my acting class because I totally bombed in acting class. Like, <laughs> like, Brian, are you really serious? You moved to Atlanta all the way from Michigan to become an actor and then you're going to bomb like that in class? And I had these, like, thoughts. I kept thinking, like, about everything, like, questioning all of my decisions. And now that today has been the exact opposite, I'm really glad I did this and I'm here and... Yeah, I have to drive. So I never go to Whole Foods, but I went to Whole Foods. I shouldn't say never because I've been starting to go to Whole Foods, but I, I should be careful because it is expensive, but they had this food there and I, I'm not a very good cook yet. So this is kind of nice that they have some pre-cooked food. And, ooh. I had literally no food in my apartment and I'm about to eat this food and I'm done vlogging in public because it's a little bit awkward, but I don't really care what people think anymore. It's, I don't know. If people think I'm weird, then that's fine because I am, I'm weird. And if they think I'm weird, then they're right and I'm weird. <laughs> So I got invited to the virtual premiere of Cherry tonight and I have it all ready on my TV right now. There is one hour and 58 minutes until the premiere. And I feel like they wouldn't have invited me unless I made the cut, so we'll see. But I haven't seen it yet. It comes out in theaters and then in two weeks on Apple TV Plus. It's all I can think about at the moment because it's so close. If you're seeing this, then that means that I made the final cut of Cherry a new feature film from the Russo Brothers starring Tom Holland. I'm nervous, but we'll see. I'm watching it alone from my apartment, but I'm very content watching it alone. I like doing things by myself. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm nervous. <laughs> this is exciting though. I'm really excited. I'll be sitting in my chair. <laughs> I'll be sitting in my chair right here and watching it like this. It was really awesome. It was an incredible movie, and the Russo brothers are extremely talented. And I just got back from a 4.7 mile run. I just needed to clear my head after watching the movie premiere. It reminded me why I love movies so much, watching the film. It made me remember why I want to be an actor so bad. Getting my name in the credits was 
really meaningful. It meant a lot because of how much time I put into being a part of the film. Like I drove all the way to Cleveland. It was a lot of time. I spent five days on set and it just meant a lot that I got my name in the credits. So the film reminded me why I love acting so much and it really motivated me to keep working really hard. And I just wanted to go for a run right away. Getting in better shape is something that I'm really working on and by getting in shape, it'll help me get cast in different parts and be able to create films that people connect with like I connected with this film and it means so much to me that I got to be a small part of it. I hope people see it and they like it and they enjoy it and they connect with it and I think it's a really powerful story and it forces audiences to empathize with a character that people may not know how to empathize with and that's why movies are so powerful and I just want to say again that the Russo brothers did an incredible job with this film and be really grateful for the opportunity just to be on set and to be a part of this. So I'm more motivated now than ever to just sharpen my skills and become the actor that can be in large projects and films. I wanna be I wanna be better. I want to tell meaningful stories that can create empathy in people and create change in the world. So that's my mission and I'm more motivated now than ever and I just wanted to go for a run because that is something I could do in this moment that I know would help me get closer to my goals. I'm going to shower and I'm going to clean my apartment right now because I had been joking about how messy my apartment is and it, it is really messy but I need to clean it and I'm going to do that right now because I'm motivated to create change in my life and reach my fullest potential. So no more jokes. I'm cleaning my apartment. I'm going to become a more organized person. I need to and it's all fun and games and all but I, uh, I really need I need to focus and I need to put in the work. And before I go, I, I'm gonna show you guys my new TV because a lot of this video has been about my television. So I'll show you my TV. Okay, that was really heavy, but I I felt like I needed to vent a little bit. I'm using, <laughs> I'm using my dining table as a TV stand because I don't have a TV stand. <laughs> you slowly accumulate things as you're getting on your own. like. You start off with nothing and you have to improvise a little bit like using your dining room table as a TV stand for a movie. All right, <laughs> that's enough. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.